Okay, awesome. Okay, so TV, did you start the recording? That's awesome. You know what's coming, right? Yeah, the, the smile, the everything. Part, the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Welcome everyone to a new episode of our Azure Stack Hub Partner Solution video series. And again, I'm joined by Tiberiu Radu from the Azure Stack Hub team. Um, how are you, Tibi? Hello, Thomas. Hello, everyone. I'm doing very well. Thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great, uh, as always, when I'm with, talking with you. Uh, you have another very interesting partner solution for me today, right? Uh, who is the partner and who I'm going to speak to? Indeed, indeed. Uh, today we're going to talk about another uh, service provider. Um, so in the series, we've been talking with enterprises, hosters, um, um, service providers that provide a managed service. In, in this case, uh, Datacom is one of these examples which has a suite of um, services that they provide to their customers. So they have both a multi-tenanted environment as well as dedicated environments to their customers. Um, so it's going to be an interesting uh, discussion on how they uh, provide value to their customers um, and the, 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 the things they've built to actually automate some of these things. So they have a lot of automation built in the back to um, create this uh, operational, uh, to simplify the operational aspects from their behalf, right? So their teams are building these for, for their customers. Okay, no, that sounds super interesting. Now I'm super happy uh, to talk to Darren from Datacom um, today. So Darren, uh, how are you doing? And can you like introduce yourself and Datacom a little bit? Sure, welcome. Um, thank you, guys. Um, my name is Darren Hopper. I'm the general manager of product for Datacom. Um, and yeah, Datacom is a Australasian um, organization. I've been around for around 50 years, um, 6,000 employees um, across New Zealand, Australia, and, uh, and a few other countries as well. Um, largely um, an organization that is about solving problems for customers, and that can vary. Today we're going to talk about um, some of our cloud solutions, but Datacom as an organization um, has a much wider breadth um, of capability. So it's largely around how we actually uh, understand our customers how we solve their problems and how we take them on a bit of a journey, really, um, to make sure that they're successful and, and we continue to be successful as well. Oh, that sounds great. No, I'm, uh, first of all, I'm, it's a real pleasure to have you in our video series, obviously. Uh, really looking forward because that is something which is really interesting to me and also to our viewers is, like, how do we actually help um, like the customers right on, on their journey? And speaking of that, um, when you speak about uh, clients and customers, um, can you tell me a little bit more what clients and customers these are? Yeah, sure. So we've got a, a, a wide range of um, customers. We service large government agencies as well as um, commercial enterprises. And these can vary in size um, right up to the very top um, and down into that mid-market um, category. Um, and largely some of the solutions that we're looking to um, bring to market at the moment are looking at that mid-market, that um, opportunity that we can provide to those organizations that don't necessarily have the in-house expertise uh, to drive themselves forward. So a um, huge range of, of clients and customers um, and it's their technical expertise uh, varies uh, as well. So, you know, it really depends on the engagements that we have with those customers to what they're actually looking for us to provide. Okay, no, that, that's great. Especially, I also like, as you mentioned, like some customers who do not have the in-house knowledge, right, for going on that journey and where, like how you can help them. So before we go on and talk a little bit about more um, what you provide, and uh, one of the interesting questions we always come up with is, why did you and your company choose Azure Stack Hub as a platform, and how does that like like fit in into the overall um, solution you're offering? Yeah, um, great question. And I think um, with all of these um, solutions, first of all, it starts with well, what's what problems we're we trying to solve for our customers. And so I think what we've been doing is instead of taking a technology first uh, view, we take a customer um, view first. So what is the customer problem and how can we look to solve that? 
and also as well looking looking outwards uh, and looking at research and insight which is giving us those key lead indicators to what's important so you know key stats and some research that we've done recently suggesting that you know 93 percent of um, customers that we're talking to uh, are looking at a hybrid solution they're looking at a multi-cloud solution they know that they will need to put workloads in public cloud but they have a real inherent need for some of those workloads and applications to be in a in what's dare I say a private hybrid cloud uh, environment um, we've seen other um, statistics suggesting that organizations in the next five years will look to move all of their infrastructure from an on-prem perspective and move it off-prem and look for a managed solution from organizations such as ourselves. So that gives us a real insight in that sort of near term to how we can start working and supporting customers. Um, and the other thing we're seeing is, you know, 67% of organizations um, want to use a hybrid solution. Um, and I think I might have mentioned this because they're looking for that secure aspect that a hybrid solution can provide. So security is critical and we're seeing that coming through time and time again with customer interactions um, that we're having. Once we understand or once we understood the customer challenges that were being faced out there, it's then working with key partners to understand, you know, the solutions that they have and can they address those particular problems. So in this particular context, um, we were looking for solutions that were going to be able to provide um, a hybrid platform that allowed a, um, a, a good, solid, um, dare I say, stepping stone to um, further solutions that they could develop. We were also looking to develop a solution that, um, I think we made the point earlier, um, allowed the organisations to probably focus more on being, um, focusing on their customers, not necessarily the technology. So we talked around the automation that we've actually delivered within the solution that we're utilising that's benefiting our customers because we take that heavy lifting away from them and then we can provide a lot of that support. So it, it, it's, taking, um, it's taking the effort out of some of those customers uh, day to day. And you know, our job really is to, to do that heavy lifting on their behalf. Oh, that, that is interesting. I, I like that one because we had this, um, I, I remember working with other customers on this. And as you said, it's a very good approach. Like look, look Look at the problem and offer them a solution for for that, right? And and not really necessarily like, okay, we offer you this technology or something like that. And often, as you said, you're doing the heavy lifting for them because at the end they just want the solution, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you decided to go with Azure Stack Hub and 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 hybrid in that case. Um, the next question would be, so how are you using that platform and how are you providing? like with that value to your customer? Yeah, um, so we've got two um, stamps um, for Azure Stack Hub. Um, one of the key areas of focus was our deployment in Townsville, which is in Queensland and Australia. Um, and that was solving a very particular um, uh, problem for customers in, in, in um, Queensland. And that was around um, latency. That was around location and geography. Um, so deploying a Azure Stack Hub uh, solution in, in, in uh, Queensland has allowed us to provide localized solutions for those customers. Um, it reduces that latency that they've seen uh, historically, but also as well took a lot of the complexity out of um, the running of their um, on-prem uh, equipment. Um, there's a there's an ongoing trend you you um, won't be surprised to hear around organisations looking at how they can actually um, take some of the pain away from the on-prem uh, equipment that they have, uh, reduce the cost of running that infrastructure, um, and get a more streamlined, uh, manageable solution. So Azure Stack Hub, and certainly in, in in Queensland, ticked all those boxes for those particular customers. It was a um, it was an easy sell for us to get that solution in there. And the conversations we've had with customers, um, they can see the value um, straight away as well. Um, so it's one of those scenarios where if you do the work up front, understand the customer problem, understand the challenges that you've got, you can introduce a solution that um, really is, it pays off quite quickly for uh, those customers who are deploying um, their uh, workloads onto that particular infrastructure. 
Okay, so the, the I, I found a couple of things which were super interesting. First of all, one of the reasons why you, for example, used it in that case was the latency, right? So network requirements, so your customers actually closer to where you actually provide the services. And the other one was really also very interesting in times of, in terms of like reducing uh, the operational overhead, if I understood that correctly, right? Instead of like just saying, okay, we're doing everything from the bottom up, we just start to take like these higher level services and basically um, let the, the base part like done by the solution as well as from a partner um, like you as well. No, okay, yeah. that 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 is like, I, I like that approach. And I think that is also good that this comes out uh, at one of our videos as well. Yeah. Uh, so my next question would then be, so we talked about the platform and why do your customers are using it. Uh, what are kind of like the platform features you and your customers are, are basically using or what are you using for your customers depending on the scenario? Yeah. Um, well, the features that we're sort of utilizing, I mean, the, the features that come out of Asia Stack Hub, um, the one of the great benefits is um, you've got that consistency. So Asia Stack Hub and Azure, um, we're uh, having discussions with customers around where they're going in, in the future so they can look at uh, developing their applications and their workloads um, in a way that will allow them to, if they want, in a future state, move completely to public cloud. Um, so it's giving them that 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 flexibility. Um, so we're seeing the sort of web apps, um, looking at the marketplace that's available through the Azure Stack Hub. Um, uh, database services, network, um, the usual kind of typical infrastructure services like compute and storage. And then there's the security aspect as well. And I think that's one thing that's coming through um, loud and clear. And there's often, well, there's more and more challenges really with regards to security. And it's a, it's a big concern of our customers. A lot of the customers that we work with have um, significant security uh, concerns. Um, so having solutions that we can actually provide that can meet those particular needs, particularly around security, are, are key. Um, and that's why I think when you've got a hybrid type solution, you've got that uh, assurance that we can provide and the customers have around the security of their um, core applications, the data that's retained um, on those uh, particular uh, or on that infrastructure. And that's really something that that we found is is. Uh, a real driver for taking particular solutions um, such as Azure Stack Hub. Um, we also provide um, uh, services like backup, so data um, uh, retention and backup services is critical. Um, we all know, and it's a terrible cliche, right, that you know, data is the, the new oil. It's really important. It's growing exponentially, and, and customers really want to make sure that they're working with a provider and they have a solution that's going to protect that um, fundamentally. No, this is, uh, again, I, I found a couple of key points here, I think. Uh, you mentioned security as one of, one of the key factors, right? And I think that is also something we have very unique solutions as well. But then I also like the very early part, you talked about the consistency with hybrid, where mm -hmm. you mentioned actually we bring these Azure services, these public Azure services to the Azure Stack Hub, so you can offer it closer to your customers. Uh, and also, as far as I understand, you also help the customer kind of like uh, transition to that and bring them on that cloud journey and helping them with that, not just to like host the application, but also like help them modernizing it, taking advantage of these these cloud platform features, right? Yeah. Yeah. And look, just adding to that, I think one of the key benefits um, that Datacom offers for customers, it's we're not a we're not just a technology company or a platform company or an infrastructure company. So um, the opportunity that we have with customers to take them on that journey where um, we can have a look at where they're going, the direction they want to take. And if it is in a uh, eventual a public cloud, a Microsoft um, journey that they're on, we can help them transition from where they are today in that on prem environment all the way through to that um, pure public cloud environment. And we can take them through that those particular steps. We've got the technology experts um, from a Microsoft perspective in house. To your point, to be able to look at the applications, um, modernize those that need to be modernized, 
um, secure those um, that obviously are still um, probably best suited for a more hybrid environment. Um, but we can actually help those customers um, look at the opportunity that they've got in the future, help modernize those applications, work with those customers and provide that expertise that sometimes isn't necessarily always available within those within the within the company itself. Yeah, I, I mean, that's exactly what like, I, I like the approach because that's exactly what I see for many customers, right? As soon as they want to go on that journey, they probably at the beginning do not have that expertise. And I like also that, well, you mentioned the technical expertise you have in-house, but I also like the approach you have where you say, okay, hey, we're not just going to talk about technical stuff. We're really going to have a look at your challenges and then we're going to have a look at solutions and then we have to we add the technical um, know-how to that as well. Now yeah. that I, I and again I can see that that this provides a lot of value to many many customers uh, especially when they get started with Azure or Azure Stack Hub and and you start using these cloud uh, services and being on their cloud journey. Yeah. So with that, I, I'm sure there are now a lot of our viewers are now interested to find out more about Datacom. Um, so can you let me and our viewers know where can they find more? Sure. Well, they can find out more. They can um, search Datacom. Uh, they can go to our website, datacom.com. And um, they can also search Datacom Asia Stack Hub. And there's a wealth um, of information uh, that's available uh, that talks about uh, that particular solution. But I think more importantly, they can go to those particular websites and understand exactly how we're going to help you find the solution that's right um, for you in the journey that you're on. Um, the um, strategy that we're uh, utilizing at the moment is it's all about right cloud. OK, so what is the right cloud for you now and what is the right cloud for you in the future? So if they come to Datacom or search for Datacom, they can find all that information um, and they can get in touch with an expert and maybe we can help uh, another customer with their cloud journey. Okay, no, that is awesome. And again, we will put all the links in the descriptions so you can easily go and read the description and click on it and find the right information. Um, with that, I want to say thank you, Darren. I want to say thank you to TTP uh, again for introducing me to another great partner in the Azure Stack Hub ecosystem. And I also want to thank all of our viewers for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I hopefully see you in the next one.